Hi, welcome to a new Simply Maya tutorial. Now this tutorial is a continuation of our Creating Characters in Maya series where we've been lucky enough to have Jason Edwards, who's a lead modeler at Framestore, come along and show us some of the techniques used in film production for creating things like digital doubles or just characters from scratch. So throughout this series we've tried to take a look at various techniques used within the industry. So the first part of this volume one deals with very high resolution data from something like a biometric scan. Now in our case it was a sculpt from ZBrush but the principle remains the same. You need to take very high resolution, very detailed uh, mesh and turn that into topology that can be used by animators, riggers, effects guys and things like this. In this part we're going to look at the creation of Batman's body and we're going to do the reverse. So we're going to start by building a very very simple base mesh in Maya and then add layers of detail in this in ZBrush before we finally export the very simple base mesh along with the displacement maps so we can get that high res look we're looking for but still maintain a good topology flow so it can be used further on down the pipeline. So in this tutorial we're specifically going to cover the creation of the body, the utility belt, the gloves, the boots and the capes. Now there is a Marvelous Designer part where we'll take you through the creation of the cape cloth in Marvelous Designer that's then retopologized once again in Maya for use in a production environment. So this whole tutorial flow is about what happens on a day-to-day -day basis in the industry. So sometimes you'll be given very high resolution biometric scans, sometimes you'll be given a quick concept that somebody's done in ZBrush as a high resolution mesh, and sometimes you'll have to build from scratch and we've tried to cover all those facets of the character creation process as well as some of the standard things that you need to know some basic poly paint in ZBrush to get these textures and quick techniques for UVing in Maya uh, as well. Now there is a continuation to this which I will bring across which is the rendering as you can see here we've got a new open now and this head rendered in Arnold. So we've tried to cover all aspects of this process right through from you know starting with maybe some very high res data in the first part to working with low res data in the second part. Now I'll just pop this guy open in Maya so you can take a look at the mesh. Okay, and here he is just opened in the viewport in Maya and as you can see we get very nice clean meshes out of this process that are ready to be rigged and animated. Also important when you're handing it off to Dynamics people and you know even things like uh, XGen for grooming which if we refer back to the win uh, render you can see we've got some uh, chin fuzz here, a little stubble if you like. So this whole process has been designed to give you a look into the kind of techniques used within the film industry and how to get cleaner meshes, you know, which when you first start with Maya probably isn't your first goal but it definitely should be because with a uh, sort of high res mesh, the mess, the topology is all over the place, you really can't do a lot with it. So we've designed that whole, this whole tut tutorial series with that in mind. So I hope you found this somewhat interesting and thank you very much for watching and I will now hand you over to Jay for the first part.